Word was spreading, people were talking. The news of Jesus spread far and wide. Jesus and his disciples were headed up to the city, to Jerusalem. Just before they arrived, Jesus told his disciples to go to the next village and bring a young donkey that had never been ridden. Never been ridden? What would the owners say? Just as Jesus had said, the owners asked the disciples why they were taking their donkey. Because the master needs it, they answered. The disciples threw their cloaks on the donkey's back before they set Jesus upon it. As Jesus rode upon the tiny animal, people gathered round, laying palms and cloaks on the ground before them. Word was spreading. People were talking. More and more. Louder and louder. Word was spreading. People were talking. They were shouting and singing. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of God. Peace in heaven. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Blessed is the king. Hosanna. What kind of king was this? On a roadway paved with cloaks and palms? Word was spreading, and some of the people in charge were not happy. Some of them in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. Jesus answered, I tell you, if they were silent, the stones would shout aloud. Word was spreading. People were talking. The news of Jesus echoed through all creation. Word was spreading, people were talking, the news of Jesus spread far and wide. Jesus went to the temple and found it full of people buying and selling. He was furious. This is a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a den of thieves, he cried, and he drove them out. Then Jesus began to teach in the temple and the people gathered from near and far to hear his word and be healed. The leaders were afraid. They saw the people were spellbound. If the people listened to Jesus, who would listen to them? They had to get rid of him soon. Word was spreading. People were talking. The news grew and grew. The peace, feast of the Passover drew near, and Jesus wanted to share it with his closest friends. They would celebrate with special food, songs, prayers, and stories to remember when God helped the children of Israel escape from Egypt. Jesus sent Peter and John to find a secret room where they could eat the Passover meal. They would know the place when a man carrying a water jar led them there. So they went and found everything and they prepared for the special meal.
Word was spreading. People were talking. Jesus drew his friends close to him. Together, they gathered around a table. Yes, word was spreading. Good news was growing. But how could Jesus get his friends through the next few days? Full of love, he took a loaf of bread, broke it, gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this to remember me. Full of love, he took a cup of wine and said, This cup is poured out for many as God's covenant with you. Full of awe and wonder, the friends ate the bread and shared the cup. They had been fed with stories and prayers, words and deeds, and now this most special meal of bread and wine. Word was spreading. Then Jesus said a most frightening thing. One of you gathered here will betray me. One of you will turn me over to those who want to hurt me. For a moment, it was as if time had stood still. They could not believe the words that rushed and poured over them. Someone would betray him. Jesus looked at Peter, full of deep love and deeper sadness. I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. Peter cried, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. <sighs> Jesus sighed. I tell you, Peter, before the rooster has crowed to end this night, you will have pretended three times that you do not know me. Word was spreading, and people were whispering. Jesus and his friends went to the Mount of Olives, to the Garden of Gethsemane. And he looked at them and said, Pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Then moving away from them, he knelt down and full of despair, he prayed, Father, remove this cup from me. When he stood up, he saw that his friends had fallen asleep. Word was spreading in secrets and whispers. Suddenly, a crowd came, led by Judas. He kissed Jesus as a sign to the soldiers that this was the one they wanted. Soldiers arrested Jesus. Then Jesus said to them, You saw me every day. Why did you not arrest me in the temple? 
Why come here in the dark of night and treat me like a bandit? The soldiers didn't say anything. Judas didn't say anything. They took Jesus away. And all the disciples ran away. Word was spreading, whispers, whispers, fingers pointing. Peter followed Jesus from a distance. In the high priest's courtyard, some people gathered around a fire. You were with him, said the servant girl. You are one of them. You're a Galilean, said a man. I'm sure he was one of them, said the servant girl to the bystanders. I do not know him. I, I am not. I don't know what you're talking about, Peter shouted. And a rooster crowed. Full of shame, Peter went out and wept. Word was spreading, name calling, angry shouts, a howling mob. Jesus was beaten and dragged from one place to the next, from prison to the high priests, to the governor, Pontius Pilate, back to prison. Word was spreading. Who are you? What have you done? What is your crime? Are you the Son of God? Are you the King of the Jews? Dressed in royal robes, crowned with thorns, everyone made fun of him. Joyous shouts of blessed is the King gave way to angry words, ang angry snarls, crucify him, crucify him. And so Pilate handed Jesus over to be crucified. word of Jesus was spreading. People were gathering, following Jesus as he dragged a huge wooden cross through the streets. People were laughing, leaders mocking, women, weeping, wake, women weeping and friends crying. Then Jesus was crucified between two bandits. One said, you saved others, can't you save yourself and us? And the other said, Jesus, remember me 
when you come into your kingdom? Jesus replied, you will be with me in paradise. It was as if the earth and heaven were torn from their loving embrace. All was lost. Jesus cried out, and breathed his last. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. A centurion watching said certainly this man was innocent. And the temple curtain was torn in two from top to bottom. There was no word. A good man named Joseph asked for the body of Jesus. Full of love and care, he wrapped it in a linen cloth. Ever so gently, he laid Jesus in a tomb hollowed out of the rock. The women followers came to prepare the body but time was running out. When the sun went down, there could be no more work for the day. The job of blessing Jesus' body would have to wait. There was no word, or was there? There was weeping, there was sighing. Was it all over? It was so quiet that we could hear our hearts beat, his heart beat. We would wait through this dark night and the next day And at sunrise on the third day, we would be ready to make the journey with him and to him. We would carry our perfume and our spices and see if there was any word. (laughs) 